Hi, my name is Trevor Blua, and I'm a disease diagnostician at 2020 Seed Labs. Today, we're looking at a Fusarium graminear and plate test. Based on colony morphology, these three colonies look like Fusarium graminearum. Fusarium graminearum can resemble other Fusarium species, so we have to make a slide to differentiate it. This is a phase contrast microscope, so you'll see there, depending on the objective lens, you have to change the phase and it increases the contrast considerably, right? You can see the cell walls are very, very dark and defined, um, and that helps a lot with identifying spores and just picking them out. This colony is positively identified as Fusarium graminearum. We tick down the result and move on to the next colony. Fusarium graminearum is a, it's a specific concern because it causes uh, fusarium head blight. It causes the largest yield losses of, of any of the fusarium species and it also produces toxins. So that's why we have a different test for fusarium graminearum, but they all will cause root rots and seedling blights in cereals. By applying a seed treatment to infected seed, you may be able to have a healthy crop. You really have to look at each thing and so many different uh, so many different factors to really come up with different recommendations and it's very complicated. It's still something that not everybody can can do.